Hi friends, this lesson is for Module 3, Lesson 4. The other day I went shopping and I got the cutest stuffed animal. His name's Zero. That's right, isn't he so cute? He's a little bitty zebra. Now, I was telling my sister about zebra, or sorry, about Zero, and I asked her if she could build him a house. That's why I had the question right there, where can Zero live? Because I wanted her to build a house. So, I came home and I was super excited to see the house that she built, and guess what? It was teeny tiny. Zero is way too big. He cannot fit in that house. I was so upset, but also my sister was upset because she was trying to be a good friend, but the house was too small. I didn't tell her exactly how big Zero was, so she didn't know. She just took a guess. Well, then we had to rebuild the house. Oh yeah, that one's definitely big, big enough for my friend Zero. He's going to be nice and cozy. The problem, friends, is that when I said he was tiny, she thought I meant super tiny. But really I just meant, you know, he wasn't like a full-grown zebra. If I can't tell her how big he is exactly, it's going to be really hard for her to be able to make a house unless she sees him. Well, the same thing is true when you're measuring something. We need to have a way to explain how big or how long or how short something is. And we need to have something that we can share with other people so that they'll know exactly how big every single time. We do. It's called standard measurement. Go ahead and say the two words, standard measurement. Good. Now standard means it's the same all the time no matter where you are. We're going to start learning about a standard me measurement. They're called centimeters. Go ahead and say the word centimeters. Yeah, centimeters is a small unit of measurement. When we're measuring centimeters, we're going to use a centimeter cube stick. This is kind of what it looks like. These are called centimeter cubes. Each little cube is the length of one centimeter. When you put them all together, you can measure different objects to see how big they are in centimeters. Our learning goal today says, I can measure using centimeters. It's going to be really fun, and as a matter of fact, we're going to use centimeter cubes to help us do it. Now, in my building, the centimeter cubes are going to be in the pod, and at the very end of this video, you're going to need to make sure you have centimeter cubes to do the exit ticket. I'm not sure where your centimeter cubes are if you're not in my building, so make sure you ask your teacher. All right, here we go. Let's try it. So how big is it? And today we're going to be talking about how big it is in the standard measurement centimeters. So here's my little snaily friend. I'm going to get my centimeters cube and I'm going to line him up. Do you see his little antenna at the top right there? If I go straight down, that's going to match up with the end point of the centimeter, cu of the centimeter cubes. Then if I go all the way over to his tail and I go straight down, that's going to be how far I'm going to count over. Now, what the great thing about centimeter cubes is, I just have to start from one point and go to the next, and that'll tell me the measurement. So I would say he's one, two, three, four, and it doesn't go past the four, so I'm good. He's four centimeters long. What about this little hamster? Hmm, I'm gonna line up my centimeter cubes right underneath the hamster. Here's an end point, and I'm going to slide on down to the other end of his belly, and there's about the end point. Let's go ahead and count and see how many centimeters my hamster is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's about six centimeters long. Let's keep going. You're doing an excellent job. Can you put them in order? We're going to go ahead and we're going to measure all three of these items. We're going to measure the ladybug, the owl, and then the apple. Then we're going to put them in order from smallest to largest. Here we go. All right, first the ladybug. What I want you to do right now is I want you to go ahead and count using my centimeter cubes to see how big you think that ladybug is. Press pause until you've counted and then press play to check yourself. Okay, do you have a number for how long the ladybug is? Go ahead and tell me. All right, let's check ourselves and see. I think that it is, whoopsie, there's my other centimeter cubes because I'm going to be measuring those in a minute. All right, now let's do the ladybug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Yep, she's about seven centimeters long. Now I know that this one kind of ends in the middle of it, but since we're already into the seven centimeter cube, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's seven. We're just making good guesses on these. All right, let's do the owl. One, two, three, four. Perfect, that's about right too. Same thing, I'm already into that four, so we'll just go with it. And then the last one will be my apple. I'm just looking at those end points. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now, friend, if you had to put them in um, order from smallest to longest, which one would be the smallest one? Yeah, I agree, the owl. Which one would come next? If we're doing them smallest to largest, we'd have the owl, then the... That's right, the apple, and then finally, the ladybug. Excellent job, you're doing great. Let's keep going. The ladybug, apple, and then the owl. Oh, and that one, I did it from longest to shortest. Sorry, friends. All right, now what's your plan for measuring an object? I'm gonna show you two different ways to measure, and you tell me if that's exactly how I should be measuring with my centimeter cubes. Let's see, first I'm gonna start with that cute koala. What if I did this? Is that a good way to measure? No, why is that not a good way to measure, friend? That's right, I didn't line up the endpoints, and it's crooked, and there's no way to tell exactly how long he is because it's just too uneven. That would definitely not be a good plan for measuring that object. All right, let's try to get into the little bunny. What if I did this with my centimeter cubes? Does that look right to you? No. What should I do? How could I fix that? You're right. Look at my center commuter cubes. They're not even connected. So that, of course, is going to mess up my measurement. When you're measuring an object, you want to make sure that you line up the endpoints as best that you can and then count very carefully. You can't have your centimeter cubes crooked and you certainly can't have them all spread apart. They need to be all connected in order to get the right measurement. Remember, our learning goal said I can use or I can measure using centimeters. And that's exactly what we've been working on today. We're using our centimeter cubes to help us measure. Now, let's practice. This is what you're gonna seesaw to your teacher. The first thing you need to do is you need to get centimeter cubes from your teacher. Again, ours are in the pod right next to the exit ticket, but ask your teacher where yours are. Then, you're gonna complete practice set number four. It looks like this. All you need to do is read the sentence, and then right next to the sentence is a picture. As best you can, you're going to go ahead and get your centimeter cubes and measure to see how many centimeters long the picture is. For example, number one says the pencil is blank centimeter cubes long. So you're going to try to line up your endpoints on the tip of that pencil and see about how many centimeter cubes long it is. You'll notice that the glue the bag, and the cupcake have a line going up and down the side. That means you need to measure it standing up, not the bottom of it. All right, when you're all done, go ahead and bring the practice set to your teacher. Good luck, friends.